Now let's take our transmission line model and try to figure out if it is a long or a short transmission line, if we need to consider the transmission line effects or not. The way we do that is we can say that the voltage at A and A prime, so V at A and A prime, is going to be approximately equal to or proportional to the VG as a function of time. The generator voltage really does not have a substantial delay on its way to point A, A prime. And that voltage, let's say that is V naught times the cosine of omega t. We're going to assume that there is zero phase delay at the generator. And then let's consider point B and B prime. Then the voltage at B and B prime is going to be the voltage at A and A prime, except it's going to be delayed. It's going to be delayed by the length of time that it takes it to move down the transmission line. So what that's going to, what is that going to be? What will our delta T be? Delta T is going to be a time delay, and that's going to be in seconds. So that's going to be our length in meters, here's the length, divided by the velocity of propagation. So this is meters divided by meters per second, that's going to give us seconds. So if the length, so it's length divided by velocity of propagation, and that's what goes right here. Now let's consider what the velocity of propagation is. For most transmission lines, the velocity of propagation is about two-thirds times the speed of light in air. And remember that the speed of light is 2.996 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So for example, let's suppose that I have a frequency of 60 hertz. That's the power frequency in your house. And that I have a length of line that is 1 meter. My, my delay, delta t, is going to be 1 meter divided by 2 thirds times the speed of light. Let's figure out what the phase delay is going to be from that. So my v, v, and b prime is going to be equal to v naught times the cosine of omega, and then it's going to be t, but now it's t plus delta t, so it's t plus the length divided by the velocity of propagation. So how, many, how much time delay do I have? The time delay right here is going to be omega, sorry, the phase delay is omega L over the velocity of propagation. So omega L over the velocity of propagation in this case is going to be 0 0.1234512. That's really small. So I would say at 60 hertz, one meter of line would not be considered a transmission line. It would be a direct connection. But let's take that same meter, one meter line, and consider what happens if the frequency is one gigahertz, typical of your computer speeds. In that case, the same line has a phase delay of 20.94 radians. That is a lot. That's a long line. In the case of one gigahertz, you definitely have to consider the transmission line effects on lines that are a meter long. What if we had frequency of 10 gigahertz. And let's take a really small line. Let's say that the length is 1 centimeter. In the case of 1 centimeter, the phase delay is 2.094 radians. That's about two-thirds of a wavelength. That makes a really big difference too. So we can tell if we need to consider transmission line effects by considering this term right here, which is the phase shift caused by the length of line and the delay along that length of line.